meaningless lunch i am Giovanni. hey hey my instagram people great to see you guys wasn't on yesterday but i have to put a period at the end of this teaching blessing yeah i have to put a period at the end of this teaching considering concerning defeat so i chose to come on today uh got very tired so I had to pull myself away. But while we wait for the rest of the people to come on, hey, son, this should be a great song to end our weekend. Good morning, meaningless. All right, this is an oldie but goodie by Walter Hawkins. Let's just be thankful. I just want you to worship with me um, before we end this week. And it's crazy, when this song was written, you will believe it's written for today. Listen to the words. Morning, Brother Mac. Folks without homes in the streets. Yeah. And the drug habits, some say they just can't be. Mothers and robbers, no place seems to be safe. But if you live my protection, every step of the way. Hey. Oh, wow. It's like I was in your energy, meaningless. Yes, yes. Okay, we can't listen to the whole song. Meaningless did say that, yes, that's my every morning workout song. So it's, I think it's just awesome how the Spirit of the Lord put me into the energy of someone that he sent on today. Amen, amen. Um, welcome to Check In with Mama Wade, uh, Better Health, Better Me, hosted by the Word of Life Voices. If you want to view my videos, you can go to my YouTube channel, check the letter N with Mama Wade. Uh, if you want to send a comment, you can send it to www.jolindawade.com. Go to my website. All right, thank you. So what we're going to do now is get ready to just close up the teaching uh, about the feet, doing a lot of studying, uh, plus the other things that I'm doing. So... That's the way it got so tired. Hey, Brenda, great to see you this morning. But I just could not leave the series like that. I had to uh, bring a period to it. So today what we're going to discuss then is foot care. 
If you have not seen the previous teachings concerning the feet care, we call it feet care beware, you can once again go to my YouTube channel, check the letter in with Mama Wade. There you will see the previous part one and part two videos there. You will be able to see the part one, part two videos there. Okay, so we talked about the feet and how the feet is so connected with the body. Actually, our body uh, organs are within the feet. That go to show you how our system is so united because we serve a united God. Everything goes together. For instance, if you're having uh, some type of pain in your feet or something is going on with one of your foot, then believe me, there is something going on within, within, within inside of your system. Uh, one of your organs is possibly giving you a warning, giving you a sign, speaking to you, telling you that there's something going on. So it's very important to pay attention to the feet. I'm not going to be able to review everything. Once again, you can be able to go to my YouTube channel, check the letter in with Mama Wade, and there you will be able to get the rest of the information. Now I want to talk about a subject that um, is not talked about a lot. Uh, I don't know if anyone on my page or in my community have uh, experienced it, but it's called reflexology. Reflexology is associated with the feet. I want to read what uh, what this particular book that I have is saying about it, if that's okay with you. Re they said reflexology is a gentle art, a fascinating science, and an extremely effective form of therapeutic foot massage. Oh, Pastor, I get my feet massaged? It's not the same. Just stay with me that has carved an impressive niche in the field of alternative medicine. So it's in the field of alternative medicine. A lot of us, when we go to our podiatrists or we go to other ones that take care of the, the possibly can get our foot care from, then we're dealing with um, the modern medicine, but this is alternative medicine. Alternative means something other than. It is a science because it is based on physical, logical, and neurological study. It is an art because much depends on how skillfully the practitioner applies his or her knowledge uh, and the dynamics that occur between the practitioner and the recipient. So when you go to a reflexologist to have them to do your feet massage, they know every reflex point that's in your feet. You remember the paper that I showed you with all of the parts, uh, letting you know your, I'm, I'm trying to raise my feet up, y'all, pray for me. You know, your, your big, I told you, your, 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 your feet, both your feet um, represent the stomach. I told you that the right foot represents, so they're able to go and touch them points and we'll be able to see if there is something going on within your body, but stay with me. Flexology, reflexology is a holistic healing technique. The term holistic is derived from the Greek word holos, which means whole. Hallelujah. And as such aims to treat the individual as an entity incorporating the body, the mind, and the spirit. That's better health, better me. The body, the mind, and the spirit. It's all in the feet. Come on, stay with me. Reflexologists do not isolate a disease and treat it systematically and, or a problem, organ, or system, but on the whole person with the object of inducing a state of balance and harmony, okay? The art of reflex foot massage must not be confused with basic foot massage in general. It is a specific pressure technique that works on precise reflex points on the feet. Based on the premise that reflex areas on the feet 
correspond with all body parts. Because the feet represent a microcosm of the body, all organs, glands, and other body parts are laid out in a similar arrangement on the feet. Um, my, my, my daughter, uh, we were talking, and she even sent me something showing uh, what I was talking about. I said, yes, yes. So she said, so if my feet, so if I get to feeling bad, then I know something going on with my feet. I said, no, if your feet get to feeling bad, you know something going on with your body. Uh, but that is a great thing for her to, she, she looked at it, said she's going to print it out and something to keep. Uh, I like to see when people are really, really listening and, and taking the knowledge to the next level. Taking the knowledge to the next level. Okay, let's talk about next, who can benefit from reflexology? Who can benefit from it? Well, people of any age or sex, the elderly, women, men, teenagers, children, and babies can derive positive benefits from reflexology. Reflexology can do no harm, although, please remember this is good, this is caution. Please remember that that caution should be taken with thrombosis. It could move the blood clock. Okay, so it's good to know your health when you go and to these reflexologists to talk to them about your issue. And also with diabetes, especially if insulin is being given. If the treatment activates the pancreas, the insulin level has to be reduced. Uh, other restrictions are those determined by the receiver's pain threshold and his or her reaction to massage. Elderly people with no specific complaint will benefit from a couple of courses of treatment a year to keep bodily functions uh, toned. So it's great for elderly people, especially if you really don't have no... Um, medical issues um, like thrombosis or um, or you, the insulin that you're taking um, like if you take the insulin shot type 1 diabet diabet diabetics are not really good for this particular um, foot massage results are also good with children and babies because they are more relaxed and supple and because their bodies are highly receptive to therapeutic stimuli Reflexology can, has proved itself to be effective, but because no two people are the same, that's good to know, what may be a great benefit for one person may not have the same results for another. Remember that. We are, two twins are actually different. Two twins are actually different. So remember, what works for that person might not work for you. I know a person will tell you, hey, girl, listen, you need to go and do this. I got this and this what happened. Well, you might go and do it and you find, you see, I don't have the, it's not a, I'm not getting the same effect that you got. Well, come on, listen, we're not made the same. We're not in the same structure. We have bodies, uh, our system will run differently. It might come through a genetic line. Your genetic line might be different from my genetic line. What works for you might not work for me. You have to understand that. So be careful trying any and everything that your uh, your spouse or your homegirl or your homeboy or your BFF or Whoever, be careful trying everything that you will see on social media because a person said that happened for them. Be careful because it really might bring you to a more um, dangerous place in your health than to take you to a healing place. So be very, very careful of what you might um, kick off by doing what somebody else do. Always, always... Uh, refer to your primary doctor and uh, let them know if you're planning on changing anything concerning your um, your health walk because they are the, the, the primary, meaning they're the head of the team and they got all the others that's attached to the team to send you to. So it's great to let them know, ask them their advice, tell them, you know, I researched this and I found out, so what do you think, you know, especially if you're on medication. You can even ask them, um, 
will reflexology work well with me okay all right so now we talk about who can benefit from it so we know as a person as people it's time that we start taking responsibility for our own well-being okay I don't have much time I just got up and it's 10 12 I got up to 10 30 so I want to give you some foot care um, advice I want to give you some foot care advice and some techniques to work with okay now we're going to deal with and once again I want to read this here before I go there I want to get this point out um, in this particular article it says working together working together because you remember I said it's great to talk to your primary doctor you can even let them know what you're doing with the uh, that you're interested in doing reflexology with your feet that's alternate medicine okay listen it says there can be no doubt that modern medicine has contributed greatly to the improvement of health care no doubt for example prior to the advent of penicillin disease epidemics were devastating surgery is another wonder of modern medicine, a miracle of modern technology that provides impressive and life-saving treatment for numerous conditions. We cannot question that. But this is not the only answer, as the object of both orthodox and alternative medicine is to cure disease and be of assistance to the human race. The most positive prognosis would be that both recognize that place in healthcare and work together for the benefit of all. The best alternative therapies combined with the finest in technology medicine would be a great breakthrough in healthcare. To quote World Health Organization report, for too long, traditional systems of medicine and modern medicine have gone their separate ways for too long. Yet, for gone their separate ways in their mutual antipathy, anti antipathy. Yet, are not their goals identical? Hmm, I like that. To improve the health of mankind and thereby the quality of life? Same goal. Alternative medicine to improve the health of mankind, the quality of life, modern medicine to do the same thing. They have the same goal. Only the blinkered mind would assume that each has nothing to do with the other. Reflexology has a major part to play in this wider vision of healthcare. So your physician should not, because you know the times have change, so they should not object to it. Uh, they might you know, say that I don't know, I would, I would love for them to be honest and say, well, you know, I don't know that much about it. And you can say, well, I did my research and this is what I found. We can educate them as well as they can educate us, okay? But then it goes about, all right, how do I find a good reflexologist? Uh, most of the time, um, I don't know for, for a fact uh, whether our Medicare or whatever insurance program you're on pays for this here, pay for that. But I do know that um, the cost of it is about the same as if you would go and have a body massage. The costs are different. Uh, it's also if you're reviewing, if you're going and you're checking uh, there a reflex a reflexologist out. If you don't know one personally or don't know no one that knows one, then you always read the reviews before you go stepping in somebody's uh, 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 establishment and giving them your money and. Um, might not be where you need to be at. Same thing when you're getting a doctor. You 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 do your, your study. You go and you you check out uh, the reviews and you find out before you get caught up with some of the doctors and some of the places that we go. I usually go word of mouth if I'm you know with somebody like in in my case here. I'm under my um, I'm with around my son and their um, their people and basically they get very good. Um, doctors I have great good insurance so um, and even if it's outside of the insurance then I ask questions before I go because if you google it my god all these people to come up and I, I I mean too much to me to just get caught up with just anybody you know it's too many quacks it's too many people that have these licenses that have expired I do my reading I do my research and so it's very careful uh, it's very important um, where you 
take your feet nowadays, okay? All right, so here goes some basic foot care hints. Number one, wash your feet carefully and dry thoroughly, especially between the toes. A lot of us get out and we just, you know, dry our feet off. We don't dry between the toes. It's very important to dry in between your toes, especially if you are a diabetic, but it's very important that you do this. Allow your feet to air out. Don't keep them locked up in your shoes all the time. The reason they say it's dry thoroughly between the toes is to reduce the risk of athlete's foot. And that's very important because one thing about a diabetic, you, you must be extra, extra cautious that you don't get a blister or don't get anything, uh, a, a pulse or anything with, concerning your feet. So dry in between your toes very well. We're becoming more aware now of how important, our, how important it is for us to take care of our feet. If we wasn't doing it before, we're doing it now, right? Right. All right, number three, trim your toenails straight across. Now, that's only for uh, giving you instructions on what, how you should do it. That's only for certain people. As a diabetic, be careful about even trying to trim your toenails. It's best, I'm going to say this here, I can't tell you what to do, but it's best to go and let your podiatrist trim your toenails. It's best to go and let a podiatrist work with your feet because if you nick it any type of way, we as diabetes, diabetics do not have the same healing power as someone who else who got their feet nicked and you any type of infection or anything can get in there. So go to a podiatrist, get your podiatrist on your team. Next, use creams to keep the skin supple and powders on your feet to absorb extra moisture and prevent infection and odor. But do not put the cream between your toes. You don't want it to cause sweating of any kind. Do not put it between your toes. Remember, your toes should remain dry. Right, and don't keep shoes on all the time, but stay with me because I still got some more information that a friend of mine sent me that I want to share as well. Uh, I'm reading this from one of my reflexology book. Uh, this is where I'm getting my information from right now by N.G. Dugans. So um, this is some good stuff, all right? Regular pedicures are beneficial. Regular pedicures are beneficial. Once again, diabetics, go and allow the, um, the podiatrist to cut your nails, to get rid of whatever needs to be gotten rid of around it, okay? Regular washing and careful drying will help prevent cracks from developing. We're talking about your feet. Regular washing and careful drying would help prevent the cracks from developing. A pumice stone and creams will help soften the hardened areas. Problems such as corns, plantar warps, and athlete's foot should be attended to, and a chiropodist consulted for persistent problems. Okay. Here it says, flat leather sandals are the best form of footwear for your feet. Air can circulate, preventing pockets of moisture from getting trapped between the toes. You want to make sure you take care of your toe area. Okay, all right. Now, another thing I want to read about, I want to read about, uh, I want to share with you about, let's say foot baths. Let's talk about that. Famous herbalist and healer Maurice Massage recommended herbal foot baths are as an essential part of his treatment. He believed treatment by osmosis to be most effective since the main healing ingredients rapidly penetrate the skin and sometimes, sometimes reach the affected area faster than if the same ingredients are taken internally. He chose foot and hand baths over hip and full baths since they are easy to prepare and because the hands and feet are the most receptive parts of the body. 
Baths can be prepared with dried herbs or aromatherapy, oils refused, infused in boiling water. Foot baths should be taken as hot as possible, but not boiling, boiling first thing in the morning on an empty stomach and should not last far more than eight minutes. Now, if you are a diabetic, you be careful about putting your feet in hot water. You need to have it at a certain degree because when neuropathy set in or when, when your foot gets to uh, a certain place, then it gets to the point where it don't seem like you can, you really can't feel how hot the water is. So you be very, very careful. Matter of fact, I want to read, since we're closing out, I want to read some information that I got from my, my friend yesterday. And she said, buy shoes late in the day. Never buy shoes that need breaking in. <laughs> that, that, now, that makes sense. Because you got to be careful how you wear these shoes on your feet. They should be immediately comfortable. Request shoes with deep toe boxes and made of leather upper material. Do not wear new shoes more than two hours at a time. Rotate your shoes. Do not wear the same ones every day. Now, this is the information that her foot doctor gave her because of the uh, neuropathy or whatever issues she have going on with her feet. When I give to my podiatrist, they probably give me the same thing. Or they might give me something different. Same thing for you. But the thing is, is to read it. And I appreciate her sharing this with me because it gives me a chance to share it with you. And I was able to uh, look at some of these things and said, okay, I got it. Okay, it says, do not foul down, remove or shake calluses or corns yourself. If you have feet problem, don't do the, the, the stuff yourself. That's why you have to watch going in these salons. You go in there, they, they don't know nothing about how to get rid of your corns and your calluses and what all the other stuff that's going on on your feet. They're doing things that need to be done by a professional, a medical a doctor, somebody that knows what to do at this particular time of your feet. Be careful taking your feet in there and just putting it up there and letting them people just go ahead and just shave it up. I get this, I get this off, I get that off. And then nick and cut you. Come on, come on. We have to plan. We have to start planning our walk, okay? Here it says, do not smoke. When you smoke, it decreases the blood supply to your feet. Did you know that? It decreases the blood supply to your feet. Uh, do not trim your own toenails. Also, it said, ask about soaking your feet. When you go to your podiatrist, you ask them, is it okay if I soak my feet? How should I soak it? Ask, ask them to tell you how to go about doing whatever you're doing. I just read about how this young man soaked his, his feet treats in herbal uh, order, but he said it boiling water. Well, I can't use boiling water. Your podiatrist will tell you how hot your water can be. Do not use any chemicals or strong antiseptic solutions on your feet, such as iodine, salicylic sal 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 acid, corn slash callus removers are dangerous. Do not use any chemicals or solutions on your feet. Do not wear stockings or socks with tight elastic backs and do not use goggles. Do not wear any socks with holes. Always wear shoes with socks. If you are one who already deals with feet issue, this is some good advice for you. You can start now. You can start now taking care of your feet. When you go to the doctor, you say, look, I need a podiatrist. When you say you need a checkup, you let them know I need a complete checkup. That means from my head to my toe. Because a lot of times they go down and, no, I need you to look at my feet and let me know if that needs help as well. Come on, let's do this for yourself. Do this for yourself. Take responsibility for your own better health, better me. I love you. God loves you more. God do not want you to have to be in a situation where you would have to lose your feet or your hand or any limb of your body. Anyway, I'm getting emotional. And it says, examine your feet daily for redness, warmth, blisters, ulcers, scratches, cuts, and nail problems from shoes or other sources. Look at the bottoms and between the toes. Use a mirror or have someone else look for you. 
Examine your feet daily. Because we don't. I, I pray that a lot of people, I don't have many on this morning on my Facebook family, but I pray that what you guys have been doing is taking this to heart and taking it in consideration. Because I, I, I don't want to uh, meet you or run into you and you say, I passed out, uh, Mama Wade, I wish I had taken your advice. Um, I'm having problems with my feet that I could have stopped or passed away. Uh, I wish I had took your advice. Um, I'm having problems now. I don't want to meet you. In that. I want to meet you and you say, you know what? I thank you for the advice and taking the time out to give it to me. Because you never know where we all are going to meet each other at uh, one day. And I would love to know that I made a uh, some type of difference that putting in this work, doing this assignment have helped you. It's just that you're just that important. Bless you, Althea. She said, thank you for the information. Bless you, precious. Bless you. Ooh, okay, and we and I read the information you sent me. I just need to read a little bit more. I was so fogged out yesterday. So fogged out. Okay, here goes something, too. It says, in the winter, wear warm socks and protective footwear. Avoid getting your feet wet in the snow and the rain, and avoid letting your toes get cold. Avoid it. Be very very careful um oh this is this is good examine your shoes for foreign objects you know sometimes we just put our feet shoes on without examining them or shaking them down to make sure ain't nothing on there so examine your food, shoes for foreign objects protruding nails and rough spots inside before putting them on so examine your shoes check your shoes out before you go putting your feet up in it because it's so much uh, when we go outside and we'll be doing this walk, and I can see what they're saying, protruding nail, because he, if you have neuropathy or you're diabetic and your feet is in bad shape, or you don't have to be a diabetic to have neuropathy, remember, you won't even know that the nail is in your, 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 to come through your shoe. It's in your feet. And then they do warn you, be careful walking around barefooted. As a matter of fact, they said never walk barefoot, neither indoors or out. Why? Because your feet are already in a state. They're very sensitive. You would not even know that you have stepped on a glass. You would not know that you have stepped on nails. You would not know that you have stepped on whatever that's out, whatever object that's out there. And it might be some something in your home because a lot of time when you come in with your shoes, if you don't take it off at the door, then whatever up under your shoes or whatever person got up under their shoes usually will uh, come off of on your floor you just never know right so what you want to do is you want to never walk barefoot and neither indoors or outdoors and here they're telling her, her never wear sandals or thongs it's a specific type you have to wear uh, my friend actually uh, showed me these socks that you can get if you're gonna wear them wear the socks these particular specific socks with these uh, with the glove the shoes okay so 1030 look like that uh, Mama Wade is getting ready to go. I'm just so glad the Holy Spirit gave me the strength to come on and to be able to share the rest of uh, your Friday with you. Uh, Brenda said, yes, thank you. You have helped me. This information is very important. Yes, it is, Brenda. We're going to take care of ourselves. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Uh, so listen, I'm going to be looking forward to seeing you guys Monday. Uh, like I said, I've been just tired and it took yesterday. I just couldn't come. I'm doing a lot of study. I'm getting ready to, um, actually my book is getting ready to come to, um, to a head. As a matter of fact, he said it's through the first At least the first uh, part of it is, and then we're going to the next. So I've been deep into that as well, and other different things that I'm caught up uh, caught up in. But just can't wait to see you all again. I love you guys very, very dearly. Take care of yourself. Have a great, wonderful rest of your weekend, and just be thankful and thank God just for him being God all by himself. Let him know you don't have to give me nothing. Just you being who you are is enough for me, right? Just go ahead and just love on him and let him love on you and just let him continue to take care of you in whatever manner that he choose to do that. There go my son, Carl. Good to see you, son. Um, as like my son, he puts up um, 
things that would enrich our spirit. He put up things that would enrich the soul. It all depends on a person whether they take this information that we are assigned to give people and use them. I thank God for my friend because my friend would give me information and I'll be like, whoa, uh, they know I do this show and they'll say this might be something good to talk about. So I just thank God for the people, the positive people that he had placed in my life to help me along the way. Amen. All right. I'm going to let you guys go now. Um, you have a wonderful weekend. This is Mama Wade checking out. Remember, go to my YouTube channel. Check the letter in with Mama Wade. And while you're there, subscribe. Look at the video. Great, great information. God bless you.